there are some advisors who believe that they don't actually need one. What do you guys have to say about that? Do you think you, how important it is for advice firms today to actually have a digital strategy? We made a decision when we did it though that we'd have a proper strategy. So it's not about, oh, let's give this a go and I'll, I might write a blog and do- write one for six months. We have, a, a, we have a, a documented strategy as to how we go about it. Who does what, how many times, uh, what's the engagement, what, what's the messages that we want to send for the different mediums. You know, as I said, Facebook is more for the, the, the happy snaps and things like that. Um, so I do think you need to, if you're going to do it, you need to be serious about it and you need to formulate a, st- a strategy. And, and we did engage someone. To, to help us with that. Um, but basically we've done all the work ourselves and, and with very little cost. Because I do think when you first start on that journey, it's actually quite hard you know, to incorporate tweaks into your daily business and when are you gonna do that, what works, what doesn't. It doesn't come, well it might come naturally to you, it doesn't come naturally first up, mm-hmm. unless you incorporate it into the business. I think good advice firms will will continue to, to exist without digital strategies. I think the more successful firms for tomorrow and the next 10 to 15 years who want to appeal to a greater segment of the uh, population will absolutely need a digital strategy. Uh, and that will be how they acquire clients, how they service clients, and more importantly, uh, how they communicate with the clients. We had a couple of great examples there. We, we just need to get better as an industry. Depends on what your target customers are, and um, even with that, I think some people might believe their target customers won't value it. But I think you probably find they will. As a digital marketing, there's a lot of opportunity. There's so many different ways to engage with clients. There's discussion platforms. There's feedback platforms. Every different social media platform has a. Uh, a different purpose so you could really get on all of them and, and go higgledy piggledy and just make an absolute mess of it. Targeting is, is absolutely key to a clear digital marketing strategy. Don't cast the net wide, decide what you want out of the strategy, decide what your end game is and just go for that. Um, you know you don't need to be on every platform, you don't need to have every type of uh, technology solution, just what works for your clients and what you want for them going forward. It's got to be clear, precise and targeted. That's uh, There has to be one. Yeah. But what we're talking about there is, is how do we broaden that appeal? We're talking about a complementary strategy rather than a replacement strategy. Mm-hmm. So I think the firms will evolve their offers and they'll bring digital in. But uh, the, the key elements of what made them successful in the past will still be there. Yeah. But they're just going to use that technology probably to broaden their appeal. Yeah. Uh, but also to you know, bring down those costs. Yeah, I would say the small things add up. So even if you had four things you wanted to implement, whether it's automated email or a web form or a new website that actually works on an iPhone. Um, mm, that's an important one. Yeah, m- maybe do four things in the next 12 months. That's what I would say. Just start the small things. Yeah. And we did that innovative advisor research, and that's exactly what it said. You don't have to have a big bang holistic strategy about how I'm going to tackle Facebook, Twitter, mm. LinkedIn, etc. Do something little and get your feet on the ground and have some wins and yeah. start from that. Mm.